Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Lawn and Order. My name is Brandon Tates. It's so great to be with you this evening. So I'm going to try and make this quick because I am losing daylight and I'd really like to get out in the lawn and fertilize tonight. So I believe we are completely in our window now. We shouldn't be getting any bad weather here anytime soon. And so I want to get out there and do my first application of fertilizer. So originally I was planning on doing the Lesco starter fertilizer, but then after receiving the test results of my soil sample, I found out that I actually have a lot of um, phosphorus in my lawn. And that's actually pretty much at the recommended rate at this moment, maybe just on the bottom end of it. So I just adjusted my plans a little bit accordingly. And so I'm going with a different product. So I'll let you see that right now. So here are my results from the Soil Savvy test kit. So as you can see, uh, I'm going to explain all this in a little bit or probably in another episode, but um, for the time being, we're just looking at these three. So M, P, and K. This is pretty typical because we're at the beginning of the year. I, haven't, I didn't put anything in the lawn yet before I took these samples. So, um, but then I saw that the P is in the target area. So it looks like we're going for four to 10 uh, pounds per million. That's the PPM. And I currently have 3.98. So I only really need to bump it up just a little bit to get in the target area, but the other ones need a little bit of help. So with the starter fertilizer, it has actually a lot of P. I believe it's actually a pound per thousand square feet. And so I didn't want to bump this up a ton. I only wanted a little bit, which is why I decided to do what I'm doing. Okay, so I'm gonna try something new. This is called Roots Turf Food. It is a 1508 and it is a 50 pound bag. You can't see the tray down here. It says 50 pounds and then it covers 15,000 square feet. So the reason that I am trying this out, I went over to my local uh, site one and asked what they had for organic fertilizer that didn't have any phosphorus. And this is one of the things that they showed me as well as some other Lesco products. So the reason why I didn't want to try one of the other Lesco products is because actually um, it, it was pretty high nitrogen. I think most of it, it would have gave me about a pound of nitrogen. And we only want a half to three quarters pound of nitrogen um, per thousand square feet. So, um, I wanted to do this to try it out. I've never tried it out with this product before, so I'll just keep you posted on how things turn out as as I put it in. I just figured, you know, new product, might as well give it a shot. It's organic, so it won't burn the lawn. And um, yeah, we'll see what happens. So actually with uh, the recommended rate at, uh, with that 15,000 square feet, um, I think what, okay, so 50 pounds divided by, or so 50 divided by 15, because we work, operate in thousands in the yard, uh, it comes out to be about 3.3 pounds per thousand square feet. And so we'll end up uh, per thousand square feet in my lawn, I'll put 3.3 pounds, which then um, 3.3, times uh, 0.15, because there's 15% of nitrogen in this bag. It's a 1508. So 15% of nitrogen, I believe, is 0.49. I actually did this math last night, so um, I don't, most of the time I probably couldn't just do it offhand. So thankfully I, I did it last night, and so I believe it was 0.49. So that's about gonna be about a half a pound of nitrogen per thousand square feet. And then as far as the K, which is the H, so there's 8% of the potash or potassium uh, in this, this bag. And so for every thousand square feet, I believe it was going to give me a quarter pound of the K. So um, because the phosphorus, the second number, um, on my soil test was pretty close to where I want it to be. 
um, really maybe you know could use just a little bit to maintain uh, the pee in my lawn what I decided to do is I'm actually going to do a lower rate of the molorganite in, combined with this roots turf food um, and I'm going to put it I believe it was four I think I'm gonna do four pounds per thousand which then I believe um, for the nitrogen it's going to give me an extra quarter pound of nitrogen so that's gonna take us to the three quarter pounds of nitrogen together and then with the P, I believe it's only gonna give me about a quarter of a pound of P, and then the malorganite has no uh, uh, potassium or potash, because it is a six, four, zero. So let me just see if I did my math right. Uh, let me show you my lawn journal. Okay, so here's my lawn journal. Yep, so here I measured, yep, the Roots Turf Food Organic. It's a 1508, it's 50 pounds, and it covers 15,000 square feet. So if we do the 50, which is a 50 pounds, divided by uh, 15, uh, because we work in thousands, it's gonna be 3.33 pounds per thousand. Uh, and then if we take that 3.33 down here, uh, we put it here. So per pound, if we if there's 15% of the N in each bag, we do it uh, by 0.15, 15% times 3.3, it's gonna give 0 0.495. So I have a pound of nitrogen and 0 0.8, because it's eight pounds of the K, times 3.3 .3 is 0 0.26. So just about above a quarter of a pound. So we'll round it and say it's about a quarter of a pound. So with the Milo, so I realized my math was a little bit off earlier. So Milo is a 640, it's 30 pound, 35 pound bag at two, and it covers 2,500 square feet. So if we take 36, we divide that by 2.5. So we wanna put 14.4, uh, 14 pounds, 14.4 pounds for every thousand square feet. Well, actually I wanna divide it by three because I only want a quarter pound. So if we divide that by three equals 4.8. All right, so 4.8 will give us, so six pound or 6% 6 nitrogen. So 4.8 times 0 0.06, so 6% equals, so just a little over a quarter of a pound. So for that front yard, 4.8 times two plus, whoops, plus 2.4 equals 12. So I did end up putting 12 pounds, 12 pounds in the front yard. Okay, so another thing I did the other day, I actually ended up going through and uh, I measured out my lawn. I'm gonna come out with a video here pretty shortly on how to do this, but I mean, for the most part, it's pretty easy. I just took a measuring tape. Uh, I only have a 25 foot measuring tape, so there's times where I had to kind of stop. I would mark it with a rock and then continue on. So uh, I'm glad I did this because I've done other used sites like Map Developer and uh, it works great or I've used the Scott's uh, lawn app but actually getting into the lawn and doing this myself I realized that I actually have a little bit more square footage than I had originally thought or I'm technically uh, I don't know who knows maybe I'm going a little bit over but from how things look and how they're kind of marked I believe this is pretty accurate um, maybe give or take just a little bit that I went beyond uh, what's my property line because there isn't a house behind me and probably won't be for another couple of years, so we'll utilize some of the back area. So, if we look um, between these two sections, it's about 200 and, or 2,600 square feet. So, just to make my math a little bit easier, I'm going to uh, say it's 2,500 square feet. Uh, so, what I'm going to do right now, 
I'm going to measure out for this just so I can demonstrate it. I can just show you one section and just give you an idea of what I'm doing. So since it's organic, we don't have to worry about burning the lawn. Sorry for my chicken scratch. I'm gonna do a nicer map here pretty soon because I just got some aerial photos from a good friend in town or in my neighborhood, Brent Goodale. Shout out to you. So I will demonstrate that soon at, when I do the video on how to measure your lawn. What I'm gonna do for the front section, uh, for the 2,500 square feet, foot section, I'm gonna do 8.25 pounds of the uh, Roots Turf Food, and then uh, I'm gonna do uh, 10 and a half pounds of the Milo. So I'm not gonna do them together because they're different granule sizes, but I will do them as separate applications. So let me show you how I'm gonna measure all right, so since I don't have like a fancy fish scale or something like a digital uh, scale that I can weigh multiple pounds, I'm going to keep it simple and use these couple of things. Just a basic uh, scale and a bucket So and my body weight. So what I'm going to do is uh, measure myself holding the bucket see what that is and then uh, we're going to like i said we're going to look try and get eight and a quarter pounds of or sorry 8.25 pounds of the roots turf food for the front yard area all right here we go 231.2 we are trying to get eight 0.25, so I'm gonna do 8.3 uh, just since we're working with organics. So 831.2 plus 8.3 is going to be 239.4. So we're looking for 239.4. So I'm gonna put my product in the bucket and try and get 8.25 pounds. Looking for 239.4, All right, too much. Pour a little back. Two thirty-nine point four. It's like me a few tries. Sweet. Just because I'm OCD, I'm gonna try it again. Two thirty-nine point four. All right. There's my product. Now time to grab the old. Uh, spreader. So this is an old spreader, the Scott Speedy Green 2000. Uh, I ended up getting this from my old house. So um, it was in the shed, and hey, it works. It works fine. <laughs> um, the reason why we want to measure this out, it just this makes it way easier to know, okay, I gotta, now that I have my product weighed out, I need to put it in here. And then I go out in the front lawn and I use what's in there. So for this, we're gonna do this entire front area. And then over here on this side, I just measured it out to this point. So there's our, property stick back there. Let me try and get it on there. Cool. So we'll just follow that line here, down here. Cool, this whole area. First we're gonna do a trim pass, which will do the edges of the property, or the edges of the section. And then we'll begin to go back and down, and then I'll go back and forth this way. It's the same thing over here. 
we'll do a trim pass around the edges of the of this section and then i'll go down and back down and back then down and then i'll go back and forth this way down back and forth cool until we've used everything that is inside of the hopper What's in this? <laughs> Looks like there is a monocle nitrogen, urea nitrogen, and uh, so there's a little bit of calcium in here, magnesium, uh, and then this says derived from feather meal, meat, and bone meal, soy protein, methylene urea, urea, potassium sulfate and uh, dolomite so that's what's in this it kind of has a uh, unique <laughs> pungent smell but it, it doesn't smell like molorganite where it has kind of a little bit of a um, compost sort of smell to it this i don't know it's a little more mild so though it does have a unique sense to it Let's go. Yeah, here's the pretty fine particles. Here we go. So I don't have an edge guard. What I have done in the past is I've put a piece of cardboard, I believe on this side, so as the product comes out, flies out it hits the cardboard and just drops straight down so I would end up going kind of backwards than what I normally would prefer to go um, but I don't have time to get it out because as you can see the sun's going down and so I just want to get this out on the lawn so also I'm going to touch up uh, these areas hopefully soon I need to get some dirt in um, so uh, I'm not so worried about the edges at the moment. And whatever goes in the driveway, I'll just blow off back into the yard. So, all right, here we go. I have this on setting four. I'm not sure how fast this will come out. So there's not a whole lot of product in there. So uh, I'm kind of keeping it lower. So that way I make sure that I have enough. how much I have left so I still have to cover both areas so I'm gonna drop this down a little bit so I'm gonna drop it down to probably about two and a half maybe I'll do two to be safe and then uh, we'll do the rest of the, the yard so I'm gonna go back and forth and then same thing I'm gonna go just go back and forth because I don't want to wait I don't want to make sure I have enough <laughs> for this whole space so what I'm going to do is throw, here's my last marks, or here's, sorry, here's, here's my tire marks from the first pass, from the edge pass, uh, through to the edge of the property, maybe a little bit over, but it's all right. Um, so I'm going to throw the product 
to the last kind of the middle or to the last wheel marks and then uh so we'll probably do two passes and then i'll go over here and do this part again that back and forth we're still in the two setting now and then um, so that's how much I have left just to cover this and then if there's more I'll just kind of run back over a couple spots maybe turn this down to one and then uh, just go until it's empty all right here we go So it looks like we have that much, that much left. So maybe I'll just turn it down to one and then uh, i do another pass back and forth and then look over there as well. Oh. Well, it looks like two is the lowest you can go. Well, I guess we'll stay here. how much is left over maybe I'll go over to the main part of the house that's that's the money shot over here <laughs> hey well thanks so much for tuning in for another episode of lawn and order I hope this video is helpful to you and just to reiterate it is so important that you measure out each section of your lawn that way you know exactly how much product to put out Per area so here I am just finishing up emptying the hopper from the roots turf food and then I did fill up the hopper with the 12 pounds of malorganite and put it down in these two areas so get out there and start putting down your fertilizer if you did not put anything down last season I'd encourage you to start off with something like the Lesco starter fertilizer to make sure you can kickstart your lawn with the right nutrients that it needs and if you do end up using a product like the Scott's turf builder with crabgrass preventer just make sure you have previously measured out your lawn so that way you know exactly how much product to put down in each section there's potential with a product like that of burning your lawn because the chemical that's in there and I don't want you to do that I want you to enjoy your lawn not have to focus this year on repairing it so Thanks so much for tuning in today. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.